It's time for the percolator. It's time for the percolator. It's time for the time for the time for the base. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? Percolator Time here, and today I just want to bring you a quick video tutorial on how to change your cursor in games such as League of Legends and other MOBAs or other games that you might use. Um, right now I've only tested this in League of Legends, so this video will specifically be for League of Legends. Uh, I have read the forums, and it looks like the program is working for others. So I have not tested it though, so this is just going to be for League of Legends. Uh, first off, I went to an actual board, so just so you know, this is a legit program, it's not a virus, I also scanned it. Um, I'll post this link uh, in the description, this is where the original came from. Uh, it was then posted to a link that brought us to this website here. It looks very cheesy and <laughs> looks very unlegit, but trust me, it is very legit and works very well and has not caused my game to lag at all. Um, so. What this does is, all you do is you come up here and you go ahead and download, which I'll include these links as well, if you want the short links uh, instead of going to this page. Um, I did it for 32-bit because I don't run a 64-bit in any of my games. All of my games are 32-bit. So I went ahead and downloaded the YOLO mouse 32-bit and really all I did was click on it and, and then when I ran it, it installed. No problem. Um, so after it installs, it's going to bring you to a folder and I'll show you this. It's going to ask if you want to run YOLO mouse. You can also go to your start menu and run it right from there. Uh, when it runs, nothing's going to happen. There's no splash screen. There's not anything like that. Um, now, it does give you default cursors, which are, in my opinion, are really ugly for League of Legends. It might be good for other games, but in League of Legends, it's really boxy or doesn't even... I'll show you the, I'll show you the default ones. Um, if you go to your cursors folder, there is your x86 uh, YOLO mouse cursors default. Um, so I'll just show you this right now. The hotkey in here, um, they tell you to press uh, Control, Shift, and Alt, and then press 1. Uh, what that's going to do is, that's, and I figured it out, it's going to cycle through these first nine cursors. So as you're pressing 1, it'll, it'll cycle through each cursor. Uh, the next 10 through 19, that's going to be Shift, Control, Alt, and 2. So I, I kind of figured out how he programmed it. Uh, the next 20 through 29 will be Shift, Control, Alt, and 3. Um, you can also do animated cursors in-game, which is really nice. Um, so I figured out how he did that. Um, the number 80, 81, 82 slot is bound to number 7. So it's always going to be... Uh, a number behind the number you're using. So this is in the 20s, that's actually going to be down uh, to 3. Uh, I'm sorry, it's always going to be a number ahead. So this is actually going to be uh, number 9. So what's nice about this is that you can go ahead and download your own custom cursors. Now I go to a page and you can always find any cursors anywhere on the internet. Um, let's just go here for example, cursors4u.com. Uh, you can click on a cursor that you might want to use in game. Uh, now this is very, probably wouldn't use this because it's probably distracting, but let's go ahead and download this just for the video. Um, I'm going to save this as my 83 slot, and I'm downloading it right to my programs folder. Uh, sometimes your Windows permissions might not allow you to download directly to this folder. Uh, you might have to download it to the desktop and then move it there afterwards. So now I have that downloaded, um, and I launch in game, and we'll go ahead and launch the game now. Okay, so now that we're in game, you'll now see that the normal cursors are set right now, and you'll see that also, and I noticed this, so right now this is my default cursor. If I hold Control, Shift, Alt, and press 1, easy just like that, uh, it loaded, and now we have the set cursor. So as you can see, this cursor is very ugly um, and probably would not fit, and these are even worse. This is by pressing Control shift alt 2 and as I'm cycling through, I just keep on holding the Control shift alt and pressing the 2 button. Uh, this is your 3. And so now, uh, we go up to our custom cursors, and we go to 9. So there's the Nyan Cat, we have my rainbow one, uh, we have the other one I tried out, and then we have our electric cursor. So as you can see, we are electric electrified, and I just realized that on my 
OBS, it is not animated. Uh, it is indeed animated on my screen, guys. Uh, so I don't know why it's not animated for OBS, but trust me, it is animated. Um, so as you can see now, uh, you'll see when I go, I have my select cursor as I'm walking around. But if you go to the turret, it changes. So what you need to do is you actually need to bind each cursor. So you go to the turret and bind it by holding Control Shift Alt 8 or 9. So now I have it changed. So as I go off of it, you see that it's going to change each time. Same thing with the minions. So I go up to the minions and, oh, I already had it down here. So typically it is the red sword when you go to the minions. So if you want to change that, go ahead and press Control Shift. So now I have my normal walking cursor. I have my minion attack cursor. And then I have my turn attack cursor. Uh, this is also for, as you can see, the turret attack is also for enemies. So you have your enemies and you'll have your turn attack. So very easy program to install, guys. Uh, as you can see, uh, all I did was download it, install it, and then if you want to put your own custom cursors, you are free to do so. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, feel free to put your comments down in below and I will be able to answer them. I've done other tutorials, but they're for uh, older game ways to play Minecraft. So if you have any questions, I'll be able to read them for you guys. Thanks for watching and hopefully you find and this program works out great for you. Peace out.